welcome back to my youtube channel today with nancy it's your girl nancy and i am back with another video and i am i'm so excited for this video yes because today i'll be trying out the local Ghanaian dishes like their typical local food and i'm pretty excited and anxious because i don't know if i'm going to like it well when we get there we'll find out anyways if you're new to my channel hello my name is nancy do well subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up watch all of my videos join the gang and i'm sure you're going to like it in here and if you're a subscriber of mine thank you for always coming back you guys are the real gang thank you thank you thank you so so much guys i've been in ghana for like i think four or five days now and it's been like all shades of amazing i'm actually very happy because i i have like my friends over here i don't i think without them it would be pretty difficult for me to like get around certain places because you know the language barrier though they some of most of them speak english if not all of them though but you know i'm a shy person if you don't know just know it now i'm actually very shy especially if i'm going out alone so actually to places that i'm not like um conversant with so but having them around has been pretty will i say um relieving yeah so it's kind of making my whole trip you know worthwhile after my experience at the airport if you have not watched that video <laughs> please click on the link here or here and you know watch it and laugh at me if you want to well i hope you learn one or two things from that video share not about laughing at me so guys without further ado let's get right into this so video. i'm almost dressed right now i'm on this purple top that is slightly opened at the back i don't know if you can see it shower yeah slightly open at the back and i'll be wearing it with um um a palazzo pants black yeah that's my outfit of the day we go with my friends as well because they've been there before um i don't know the place guys when we get there i'm going to like make a view like make a video of the area and stuff like that so guys let's go ciao ciao so guys unfortunately the background of this video is going to be muted this is because we are playing hip-hop um, songs in the background and of course we don't want copyright on our channel do we no we don't this is me feeling myself after speaking my tree so the food is here and i was really expectant on how it's going to turn out for me honestly so i ordered kokonte with granite soup while my friend ordered banku with okra soup
so while i eat and you know make this video i'm going to take this opportunity to you know explain what this food is all about so kokonte is a staple food is eaten in some parts of africa including togo ghana and other parts so in ghana kokonte is eaten by most of the ethnic groups like the ga ekan i don't know if i pronounced it well and the alsa yes they have it here as well so kokonte is also known as face the world because it was initially associated with the low class it is also a popular term used by the Ghanaian locals. It's usually brown or gray and deep green in color. Depending on the ethnic group that prepares the dish, kokonte is usually prepared out of dry cassava or yam. First of all, ignore my face right here. I was trying to process, you know, the taste, the texture and all those things. So I was still trying to like, okay, what's this taste like? Or is it, is it, is it like a familiar taste or something? It was not bad, but it was the coconut itself was very soft. I don't know if it's how it usually is or if it's just this like you know you know how you go to a restaurant and maybe on some days their food is so nice and on some days their food is just there so i don't know if it's how the coconut is supposed to be but right here or, or rather the day i ate it it was very soft and it was kind of slimy and also when i tried to chew it my friend said no i should just like you know dip it in the inside the granite soup and just like swallow it or like i shouldn't because me when i'm eating swallow because we have swallow in nigeria of course so when i'm eating swallow i just tend to like munch on it a, a bit before you know swallowing it but right here my friend was like oh just you know put it in your mouth swallow and feel it go down your throat something like that so yeah i i ate my kokonte like i said with um with granite soup apparently granite soup is rich in protein um healthy oil good source of omega-3 acid and is rich in antioxidants i also learned that this soup is a good choice for pregnant women and is loved by Ghanaians. kokonte is actually a fresh food is 100 percent carbs no fats and no protein To this day i've eaten um ghana jollof and yeah yeah if you want to come for me it's okay i will still stand my ground i still prefer niger jollof over ghana jollof that's my own preference i'm not saying it's not good because i actually enjoyed the ghana jollof but i think for ghanaians they are their jollof or rather their rice they they like it when it's like still you know strong and dry unlike our ours in nigeria well both of them are actually nice so let's the war end on this channel okay i can see it in your eyes i can feel it in your touch i can hear it in your voice though you haven't said that this i wasn't expecting it to be this much it was actually much and it has it's had two 
kokonte inside also another name for kokonte is actually brown fufu it's actually brown fufu so it was two inside with i think three um goat's meat a cow meat and one salmon salmon that salmon fish and i couldn't really like finish everything but i ate a good deal of it because i was actually very hungry i i purposely did not eat anything until i started eating this food because i get filled up easily so i had to reserve my tummy for this video for for these foods in order to try um you know this local Ghanaian dish we're just broken people we'll be scattered in the let's get over to the next menu banku and okra soup so i started to test the banku and okra soup my friend bought so banku banku sorry banku is mostly preferred by people of the southern regions in ghana the airway people fante and the ga adam way people i don't i'm sorry if i'm just murdering you guys i'm so sorry but it's also eaten across other regions in ghana banku is found throughout ghana and is one of the staple foods enjoyed by all tribes in ghana although it is mostly associated with the airway people of ghana it's made from the mixture of corn flour cassava dough salt and water my own impression of banku is it's very sticky i was trying to mold it as if i'm molding you know niger gary way do you know but then it was actually not flowing so my friend was like i, I should rather you know use this my thumb to like you know pat it and all that so that's what i did and i stay eating so it's 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 actually too soft you know it's sticky look at my hand like all over my hand is actually sticky but the okra soup is more or less normal because we have okra soup back in nigeria so in this video i tried kokonte with granite soup which is this one i ate and i also tried banku with okra soup which is my friend's own i said i tried and i loved the both of them now for kokonte after eating kokonte it has this smell or is it odor that is just attached to your hand you know how you eat apple in nigeria um and the, the the smell just sticks to your hand that's how kokonte is for me or rather that's how kokonte was for me i kept washing my hand that day in fact when i got home and i had my bath i had to use my sponge to like you know scrub my right hand so i think the next day it's kind of like faded like more more you get so guys this is the end of this video actually thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section i really appreciate you guys and if you got to this point you're the real g you know thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't give this video a thumbs up you know like it so it's going to push my videos out there to other people thank you so much guys once again and i'll see you guys in my next video let me carry my overfed self back to the house bye guys <laughs>